people will freak out when you serve this to them. They're gonna be like, what is that black drink? You'll be like, oh, it's nothing, don't worry about it. But it's really healthy for them. In honor of this spooky time of year, I'm gonna spookify, is that a word? Uh, my next batch of kombucha. If you don't brew your own kombucha at home, uh, you can definitely make this just with buying uh, activated charcoal and kombucha from the store. Forever. This is my favorite concoction, which is green tea and raw honey. It's so tasty. You can find really good um, kombucha stuff at TJ Maxx in their clearance section for dirt cheap. For every one eight ounce drink, I'm gonna add one charcoal, which is 500 milligrams. I'll leave um, a description and a video to this info on why this charcoal is the best, um, but you can go out and find this charcoal at Walmart or Meyer or Kroger. Um, they sell it everywhere. This could get very messy. So it'd be a fun thing to serve to your guests and not tell them what's in it. All right, let's time lapse this. That was 4,000 milligrams of charcoal per 64 ounces of kombucha. Um, I'm going to let this sit in a dark, cool place for a day or two and get really bubbly. Probably going to be drinking this all the way through the holidays because I'm going to be consuming things that I shouldn't be. And look how bubbly and spooky this is. Four to eight ounces of your activated charcoal kombucha and then one to two ounces of your favorite liquor. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this little kombucha hack. Uh, that's so fun, I can't wait to serve that to people and see their reaction. Uh, also, they're gonna thank you the next day when they wake up and realize that they don't feel like crap after all the candy they ate after they trick or treated. Hope you guys have a good Halloween. Um, if you wanna learn more about brewing kombucha at home, I definitely plan on making some videos. Um, I just recently got the grasp on it, so. I'm excited to share what I've learned brewing June kombucha, so definitely try this stuff out. Um, it, they call it the champagne of kombucha because it's so like light and crisp and bubbly. If you guys want to learn more about the charcoal, I will link that stuff in the description. My family has been using that for years, we swear by it, especially if you're sensitive to sugar or to gluten or to alcohol. Uh, that's a game changer. That would be really fun if you put some like dry ice in it and it was all smoky and stuff. <laughs>